out daily. I want to be a righteous man, but right now it feels like it don't pay me. Sometimes I feel like my chance of blowing is getting slim like Shady. Slimmer than Beyonce cheating on Jay-Z. Trying to drink my issues away. I'm in the wine house, no Amy. I want to say good evening, Mr. Gracious K. How you doing, bro? Man's blessed. What's happening, man? What's going on? All good, man. All good. First, I want to say thank you for making the time to come out and do this interview. Um, yeah. Thinking out loud, like, that really sparked my interest. I was seeing it floating on on Twitter. Yeah. A friend of mine, Sabrina Sarfon, yeah. um, she was tweeting it. So I looked at it and I said, okay, let me, let me see what's going on. I listened to it, immediately wheeled it two, three times. That is, mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. me, I'll draw a record set, probably one of my favorite songs I've heard this year. Um, first off, tell me about when you actually first created song when you first pen it down? Um, some point last year, um, I was just kind of revamping everything because before I was doing like house stuff and stuff like that and it was just, you know what is yeah? I was, um, I was gagging to either get signed or get heard on the radio so I was just making things that didn't mean anything to me. Then um, I watched one Amy Winehouse movie she was like, um, if the music isn't relevant to you, it's pointless. You know what I'm saying? And then I just started getting beats, getting beats. I had bare beats on my computer, getting more beats. I just started penning, 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 penning. And then, um, yeah, I just started expressing what was relevant to me. And then I just kept developing it, developing it. And then the song's actually like six minutes long. But then I broke it down and to the most, the bits that I thought was hard hitting. And yeah, that was it. That's, that's how it came about. I mean, hard hitting is a bit of an understatement. It's, it's laying itself bare. Yeah. Um, were you ever apprehensive about people hearing such intimate lyrics that you're putting out? Yeah, because you know what it is. Yeah, um, everyone has their own like their, their their own way of feeling vulnerable. Nobody likes to feel vulnerable. Everyone has their own idea of what it may seem like. So. It was a thing where I showed it to a few of my peoples and they was like, bro, like, this needs to be out. This is what is going to make people understand that you're no longer this guy, you're this guy. Do you know what I'm saying? It's going to show people what's been happening, where you've been. So I heard that, I took it on board, but then I kept telling myself, no, I need to put out something before or it's not ready or it's this, it's this, it's this, it's that. So we got to a stage where I was like, you know what? It is what it is. Just put it out and then what, what is the worst that can happen? So... In terms of being apprehensive initially, yeah, but then you get over that, man. I'm back right now. Oh, yeah, man, I'm back right now. It's the return of the case where down. It's the return of the Mac right now. Man, I've been away so long, thought Hubbard's locked down, but it's high time that I come out of the background. People still want to know if I ever found out if you showed me how you get down. That there is like um, everywhere I go. People are like, yo, you still making music? Yo, you doing this? Yo, they're like, yeah, man, did you ever find out? Like, you get that, and then it's like, I've been away for such a while, you don't know where I was. And in my head, I was still consistently releasing music. But then um, to other people, I just went ghost, you know what I mean? That's that bit. Um, sitting in my yard trying to cope, man, I'm stressed out. I'm trying to run through these bills, but they're piling. I'm begging God to stop me from whiling. My aunt sees my faith is declining. She's on me. She's telling me, Lance just prayed, and she gives me a scripture. Tells me to see the bigger picture, but sometimes I don't want to hear that. That there is um, like obviously you're not as you're not as um, prolific or prominent as you once were. So in terms of work, you are beginning to scrap for shows and stuff like that. And bills don't stop just because your momentum dies down. Bills don't, and life still goes on. So you're getting letters and letters and letters about people you owe, or you got to pay this, you got to pay that. And it's like, you've just done a show, collected some money, and then you've been hit with another bill. So it's like, you start to, when you don't know a way out, then you start to kind of start living in your despair. And then you've got people that are telling you, don't worry, you'll be all right, da 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 da, -da. And you're like, listen, I feel like you have to tell me this, but I don't want to hear that. Like, I don't want to hear that. Um, I battle daily. I want to be a righteous man, but right now it feels like it don't pay me. It's like, being a Christian, you, you're conscious to decision-making. So it's like, you want to live 
a righteous path, but sometimes it feels like nice guys really finish last, you get what I'm saying? So it's like, you're biding your time, you're doing your thing, you're doing your thing. And you see, I wouldn't necessarily say bad people, but people cutting corners. And it's like, they're lapsing you, so you're thinking, if I cut a corner myself, then I'll be, you know what I'm saying, I'll be decent. So it's like the battle between doing what is, I believe is right versus my wants, you know what I'm saying? I battle daily, I want to be a righteous man, but right now it feels like it don't pay me. Sometimes I feel like my chance of blowing is getting slim like Shady, slimmer than Beyonce cheating on Jay-Z, trying to drink my issues away, I'm in the wine house, no Amy. Yeah, it's like you feel like you're getting older. It's like, boy, if you was going to blow, was it at that time, you know what I'm saying? So the, you start just kind of thinking, time is against me. You want to you wanna be at a particular stage before, you know what I'm saying, before a certain age or certain decisions you make in life. And then when it starts feeling like that in itself is not happening, you start thinking, boy, like, what's the options? And um, yeah, man, you go through different stages of life. You start drinking, you start just, just not really taking care of yourself because you're not in a good place, you're not in a good state. So realistically, the, the kind of looking after yourself bit goes out the window. Um, serving, serving, I couldn't stop serving. Shed my tears when I heard my first sermon. And the next week, and the next week, until the drug line man couldn't text me, and the fraud line man couldn't get me. I'm trying to take this music thing to a higher max than Pepsi, but this industry that knows how to stress me. Yeah, like, I was out here, man. I was out here doing what I'm doing to survive. Out here, whatever I could do, whatever I could make, survive. Went church. Pastor laid a, a word over my heart, over my head, started bawling, do you know what I'm saying? Like, it was like, you're meant for more. And, you know, it's like, when someone tells you that, it's like, yeah, yeah. But when someone tells you that and you believe it, like, that's what it was. It was like, you know what? I've been given a talent or I've been put on this earth for more. And um, yeah, that was it. That was that. Was that. Um, trying to take this music thing to a higher max than Pepsi. Yeah, it's just, you know what I mean? Trying to elevate it and just go beyond everything you continuously get fed. So just kind of add a bit of substance to certain things. Um, driving around town with my G-Clays flames he said F all my enemies that's the real definition of fame so anyone who thought I wouldn't make it man I feel sorry for you my bars are so 93 don't it feel like deja vu it was just kind of saying my pal always used to say to me bro the people who are you're so concerned about watching F them you know what I'm saying like when, when you when, that's, that's the real definition of fame when you can live not caring about what they think or how they think of you, how they perceive you, that's when you're famous, you know what I'm saying? So that's fame. And we took that and, um, yeah, fame, yeah, all that bit. Then we had, um, anyone who thought I wouldn't make it, man, I feel sorry for you. Just like there's people who rip me off. And this is like, bruh, my bars are so 93, don't it feel like deja vu? It was just playing words. So it's like my bars, you feel the essence of like grime or old school music or whatever, and then you know, Deja Vu 923 was the thing. Um, I'm blessed. God said I was gonna blow, but I didn't know when. So, man, I was so so stressed. Me, I was so so low. You was in DMs, I was thinking of sliding the homes. Yeah, but I was stressed out, bro. Like, my pastor told me, don't worry, everything's gonna be blessed. And obviously, you want it in your time. So, you're like, yeah, so what's going on? Like, you told me it was going to be blessed. What, you know what I'm saying? Like, when's it going to be blessed? And then you start kind of... You start kind of thinking, ah, right, cool. Like, I need peas or I need this or I need that. And then you start thinking things outside of yourself. So you're not that way inclined, but then you're just like, everyone's getting it or people are doing this, people are doing that. And you know what it is, yeah? I was in a place where thinking if I get a job yeah I'm not I failed you know what I'm saying oh that's that that's that you man I swear man was living large like boom like man stacking shells and man's doing this so I started thinking of fast ways to make money and then you start thinking of kind of corrupt methods methods that is is just not you you know what I'm saying and it's like you get to a place where you're thinking yeah boom you might not in DMs but you know what I'm saying like 
you think all sorts. I mean, uh, suicidal. I'm from a place where on a Saturday you can turn in the TV and see another you got popped like idol for standing around and talking idol. My life ain't easy. People see me on the TV and then want to be me. You don't know what people go through. You only see what they show you. Um, yeah, all that suicide stuff. You go through a state of, let's say, a depressive mind state, yeah? And you believe your despair is greater than anything around you. So any opportunity that comes your way, you don't believe you are allowed to have it. It's not for you, you know what I'm saying? Then you start kind of take, stop taking care of yourself. You start living a certain way, start drinking, start hanging around with the wrong people. You become less productive. And then you go out every day and you put on a skin. So this skin you put on, when man see you, I grab my brother, bless my brother, high sting my brother, spud, da 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 da. You go home, take off the skin, moping, sad face, lock yourself in the room, sit in the dark, like, and you don't even realize that, yeah, you're, you're decreasing in size, like, you don't look the same, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, that was that. Um, yeah, like, I grew up in East London, Forest Gate, between Forest Gate and Manor Park. And yeah, it was just on the roads, isn't it? People were just out there doing crazy things. So, I'm, I'm from an area where it got busy, like stuff happens. So it's not a thing where you can just be out doing what you're doing. Um, my life ain't easy. People see me on the TV and it's like, yeah, I'm getting calls from my aunts. All oh, my days, you're the TV, you made it, millionaire, da 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 da. And I'm thinking, you don't know, bruv. Like, if you knew what it, it, what it was, how easy it was to get on the TV, then you'd, you'd kind of grasp the concept that, okay, let's not, you know, get ahead of ourselves. You don't know what people go through. People show you what they want. That's that's all it is. So you see a lot of young men, young women, they're dying inside, but they're all smiles, you know what I'm saying? Um, I was losing my looks because I'm daily stressing, asking the Lord, where's my blessing? Looking at my pastor like he's gassing, asking my words to help me get a trap in. My pastor gave me the word. God gave me the word. I'm just looking at them like, yo, where? You know what I'm saying? I'm stressing that. Like, I'm just losing, my skin's all getting bad and whatnot, because obviously, you know, thoughts become things. So the more you start thinking, this negative energy surrounds you and you just start getting looking older and just tired, do you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, I think it's depressive mind state, man, I couldn't cope. The worst thing is being well-known and broke. Yeah, that, that damn is like, because you're known, because you're in the scene, people just think, yeah, you're up. Like, they just think, yo, like, like I'm going dinners, and guys are like, yeah, Gracious has got that. I'm like, got what, bruv? You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to get the ruler out, and everyone starts just doing your own thing. Because times get hard. Like, like times get hard, times get rough. So, that right there is, um, that right there was a, is, 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 it was a big bar for me, because... People just see me and they just like once you're on the TV or they see you're getting views or you're uploading the lifestyle or, or shows and stuff like that. Not the misleading lifestyle of like people sending you clothes and all that. I'm talking about like shows and that. People just think you're doing well. You're in the limelight. You're doing well, but you don't know how it is. Worst thing is being well known and bro. God forgive me if I took my life. I can't imagine how my mum would cope. God forgive me if I took my life. God forgive me if I took my life. Can't imagine my mum right now, but I love my girl because she took that now. Yeah, self-explanatory, man. Like, self-explanatory. It's just, you got you got to have good people around you. And I'm thankful because I have a, a good person who's still around me, you know what I'm saying? Like, she kind of took me from a place of, in, like, a place of destruction and she intervened and you know what I mean she done what she done and she was like nah that's a myth that's dead like because you start feeling like yeah you know what sometimes you start getting low you start thinking the world might be better off without you do you know what I'm saying like you are the common denominator in all the problems because things may not be going well for you so if you're not about then their life is easy you know what I'm saying and that's a mind state as well so um yeah, Wiley told me I'm kidding him fam. He ain't heard this hype since years ago. Well, my green skank was years ago. I'm back like a spine, so here we go. Labels on my line, like, here we go. When you're number one, it's all fashion shows. And when the life is well, I mean, they've stopped being hot. I did ask for one if return my emails. Yeah, Wiley was like, fam, you're sick. You just need to prove to the world you're sick, innit? 
and like that advice kind of stuck with me. So I was like, yeah, just touching on migraine scan was time ago. He ain't heard this fire, but yeah, like I haven't had this fire. And um, yeah, like that line about Adidas, it's just kind of like a brand thing, man. It's like when you're up, like they're all on you, innit? And then when you stop getting views or stop whatever, whatever, your 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 sell by date goes. But you know what it is? Yeah, it's like it's not even their fault, man. It's our fault. Like obviously you just get gassed by these things, innit? So obviously you're coming from an ends where you've had to buy all these things and man is chucking it to you for free. You're thinking, yo. So when you make relationships in this business, when people start acting some type of way, you don't know how to handle that because you don't understand that these people you're meeting, not all of them are your friends, you know what I'm saying? So you might do a one-two favour for them or they might do whatever. And then you start thinking, yo, yeah, my boy. Then when your views start going down, man don't want to reply to your email. So it was just like that, man. It was like, yeah, like, when things started not start going well, all of a sudden, I, you know what I'm saying? I have to buy clothes. So I was like, ah, say nothing. Um, but yeah, me out this flex. I still get shows in the regs. Every single day, God tells me I'm blessed. Wife is amazing, but I'm so big, make a man start Harlem shaking. I'm stressed out. Oh, yeah, man, I'm stressed out. Like, God, if there was a tire where you was going to save me, right now would be wavy. Calm, my faith is hot even when I feel cold. My bro got burdened and it hurts my soul. It makes me cry to see my wife feel low. And anything I say, it can't lift her soul. I'm here like, what are we going to do? How are we going to cope? How are we going to move? How are we going to pull through? Man, I'm so pissed off, man. I'm so pissed off that if I had a strap, I would probably shoot like, rah. Yeah, I'm down on my knees asking the Lord, please, what can I do? Losing my light, going down this route, trying to keep away the devil wants my soul. I feel like I'm running on an endless road, asking the Lord to take control. Ask him daily to protect my soul. Yeah. Yeah, like, wifey's piffing it. She, 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 she buffs, so, yeah, you know, you see her <laughs> causing car crashes. So, yeah, I thought, yeah, let me celebrate that. And, um, yeah, man, I'm blessed that I can still get shows, man. Like, all this time on, I'm still, like, out there, like, doing, like, um, uni kind of rounds and under 18 so i was blessed i can still that, that that's why i was like you know what as 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 much as the other stuff's bothering me it's not that deep because i have to be thankful for what i'm thankful for what i've been given you know what i'm saying um yeah my bro got birded yeah man one of my people's my, my close brother got birded and it was close to everyone so it it, it really kind of hit me as a man that nothing i can do can console the people around me and that really hit me you know what i'm saying like I'm trying to console my closest people and it just kind of made me feel like I was limited and it kind of it hit man that I, anything I say that my girl's not going to be lifted or my peoples aren't going to be lifted you know what I'm saying so yeah um, yeah man you know devil and angel on your back you feel like you're, you're powerful like so you feel like yeah he's just tempting you all the time tempting you to go back to what you was doing or what you was thinking yeah, man, and asking the Lord to just guide me, it's not easy. I surrender under the rhythm.